JoJo from Miles Point here with Sandy Morris, uh, getting ready for some hot pole vault action this weekend. Uh, what are your expectations? You know, I'm trying to go into this without any expectations. I just want to step out there and have some fun. It's indoor season. Um, you know, this is a really big building block for outdoor season. We've got world championships in August, so uh, you know, it's all about having fun at this point and just um, improving and setting myself up to peak outdoor season. So I'm going to step out there, have have some fun and hopefully put on a good performance. Um, have you competed prior to this event this indoor season and what's yeah. your best mark so far? Yeah. Um, I, I hit Europe, I did a few meets overseas, um, I jumped 472 over there in one of my meets and I felt pretty good about it. I feel like I'm ready to put up a bar in the 480, 490 range, it's right there, just got to clean my jump up a little bit. And um, But that's the thing, that's what indoor is all about, it's about figuring out those little things, uh, cor correcting technique and um, just kind of, you know, sorting things out in order to jump really, really high come outdoor season. Right, and what's your training been like uh, since coming back from Europe? Yeah, um, I mean, I came I came home for one day between my meets in Europe, so I, I really haven't had time at home to train, and so uh, after Milrose Games, I'll be at home for two or two and a half weeks before USA Indoor Championships, so I'm going to get in some, some good base training there to kind of build myself back up, make it through USA Indoors, hopefully put up a good bar, and then um, turn right back around and prepare for outdoor season. It's it's amazing how fast it flies by. How does it feel to resume this Olympic rivalry this weekend? It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's so much fun to compete against the best, and that's what drives better performances. And um, you know, it fuels that fire, that com competitive nature that's in within all of us. Um, that's that's what it's all about, and that's what makes us perform better. So to get in competitions like this, uh, especially where I can jump against uh, Katarina, any chance I get to jump against her, I'll take it because that's what makes us better athletes. Uh, what's the biggest lesson you've learned uh, in the past year? I would say. Uh, the biggest lesson I've learned is just, you know, put in the work, put in the hours, put in all, all the dedication, um, but don't ever be too hard on myself when you come out the other side. You know, I got silver in Rio. I was the brush of a thigh away from a gold medal, um, and it would be very easy to be disappointed in that, um, but I'm not going to let myself because that's just completely silly, especially uh, taking into account what I went through. I, I fractured my wrist, you know, nine or ten weeks before the actual Olympics, and to turn around and get a medal of any color after that was a complete honor and so I think that's my main lesson you know don't be too hard on myself put in everything that I've got and just be content and happy with whatever I, I get because it's a blessing. Is there a certain mark you'd be happy with this weekend? Um, I would really like to get the world lead it's currently 481 so if I jump 482 I'll be totally happy and um, I'll feel very confident for USA indoors. Okay, well good luck this weekend. Thank you.